from. I know that face, dealing with unpleasant thoughts, are we? <sighs> you know me well, Robin. <laughs> hey, I don't know the first brought me here. When I first met all the shepherds. It's me. <laughs> ah, what a day. Actually, that's my first memory in a way. Right. I suppose so. Wish all memories since could have been more joyful. Yeah. I know. So much needless bloodshed. So many days of pain and doubt and fighting. But I've never made it without you there to guide us, you know. Yes. Funny. I was gonna say the same thing to you. Yeah. I guess we are two halves of the same hole. <laughs> As I finish the search for Sable, the final gemstone. I've been reading more about the Awakening Ritual. It seems that whoever attempts the right must brave Naga's fire. If both body and spirit survive the agony, they are blessed with the dragon's power. Otherwise, the candidate... dies. Um... What? No! Uh, I mean, that is... Father, you, mu you must attempt this? <clears throat> He's dropping, young lady. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Father. I didn't intend to. I came to speak of you, but I couldn't find the right moment, and... <sighs> it's alright, Lucida. And yes, I'll be alright, too. I will stand August fire. I'm sure of it. My lord. My lord, I have returned. Hmm? Yes, Frederick, did you find it? Right. I believe so, sire. King Valder has extended an invitation. He says Plankett has been guarding Sable, and now he wishes to return it to you. What? Valdar. Well. It's that word to me, my lord. It must have caught wind of my search. In any case, Valdar asked you to visit him in person, that he might formally present it. Perhaps he needs to say, my lord, but I don't like this one bit. Right. There do I, Frederick the Wary. There do I. I've bet it's selfish political maneuvering at a time that when the world could ill afford it. And at worst, our run with those risen last time was no accident. But we'll meet him. Send word at once. Really? My lord, are you certain that's wise? Hmm. No, we have time to be certain. And my sister never refuses to do my gesture, no matter how foul smelling. He doesn't give us the stone, he may at least reveal where it is. Don't worry, Frederick. I'm not walking into this blindly. I'll make certain everyone is armed to the teeth. Right. Then the fire, my lord. You ought to at least leave that behind. No. Unless that's what Valdor expects and he comes to steal one of my best men away. No, it's safe with me for now. I'll learn the truth of Valdor's motive soon enough. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chrome. That last bit there, I uh, I don't agree with that. I, I think you should leave it behind. I don't leave like... Uh, I don't know, leave, like, Frederick behind. He may not be happy about being left behind to guard it, but I think it's probably for the best. That being said, though, hey, everybody, Demon Gmon here, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we took on Walhurt in our grandstand and managed to put an end to his reign of terror. Although, even though he may have been our enemy, he did have a goal in mind that, on paper, wasn't so bad. His main goal was to unite the world, although he wanted to do it via force, and, uh... Yeah, we couldn't have that happen, so we had to take him down. But now, all that remains now is to worry about the oncoming disaster that has been foretold. And to find the final gemstone for the Fire Emblem. And apparently, Valdar from Plankia has it. However, as we know, Valdar is, uh, concerning. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to be careful around him. And we could go on with the main story if we wanted to, and go over to, uh, let's see, where is it? Down here, I think? Thank you, game. Pelagia Castle and go meet with Valdar. However, since we now have some breathing room with bef between the time we go to see Valdar and also dealing with Valhart, I think now is probably a good time for us to go ahead and take care of the paralogs that we've been waiting out on. So, that's probably going to be our focus for the next little bit instead of resuming on to the main story. If that kind of bothers you, don't worry. We're not. It's not too many paralogs. It's like, what? Well, let's see here. I can check on the map here. We have like three total, I think, but I think it's going to be worth our time to do them nonetheless, so I want to get them out of the way before we move on to the main story. That being said, though, before we worry about any of that, how about we go ahead and do our barracks and support as per usual? Why not, you know? And it's been a while since we've done these because we uh, went two chapters straight about checking these out, so we're going to have a lot of stuff to do here today. So let's see what we got going on here. And apparently this is our only one with a compatible uh, support. And Sully and Long Q, I can imagine these two would get along swimmingly. <laughs> well, look, damn, happy to be alive. You want to watch practice match or what? None of your business. I'm the same as always. Now be gone. <laughs> you need to be careful. Sully's like one of, one of the few ladies here who would probably kick you in the chest for saying, talking to her like that. I'll be real with you. We got. Hey, Henry, how you doing, buddy? Wow, my butt's pumping so hard today. I think my thumbs might explode. Normally I'd be concerned, but Henry, honestly, I think you're into that. So I'll let you do what you want to do, buddy. 
Uh, Kajal with her goofy looking armor. I talked about it before, but these shoulder pads are insane. <laughs> I thought I should oil my armor. You never know when a battle it will erupt after all. I can tell you're wearing the armor because it's clanking all over the place. And off she goes. And next we have Cordelia. Is there something in the air today? I feel so invigorated. What do we got? Speed and defense. I love to see the stats on a wyvern knight. I'll take it gladly. And finally, good old Robin. I've reviewed some, histor I've reviewed some historical battle texts. One can clean many tactics from the past. For atomic speed. All right. I found one of those the Napoleon Wars only offer atomic experience. Good to know. <laughs> well, there you go. There's our barracks out of the way. And now I'm expecting a crap ton of supports. Yeah, we're going to be here for a while. And honestly, since we're doing a bunch of paralogs, rapid fire up coming up, I think what we'll do here is we'll do like half the supports, and then we'll leave the other half for the next bit of paralogs. Just to spread things along. Since we're not really doing the main story for a little bit, I think it's good that... You know, I think it's okay if we chill back a little bit. I said, Krav and Gaius. Hey. Hey, yeah, Blue. Hmm? You know, I really wish you wouldn't call me... Nah, never mind. What can I do for you guys? Yep. You got plans for the evening? After supper, I mean. Right. I have to inspect the armory and make sure we're ready for the next battle. Oh, yeah? Boring. What about tomorrow? Hmm. Tomorrow we'll meet with the war council to discuss strategy and tactics. <sighs> Man, it's all work and no play for a fair leader, isn't it? Listen. What exactly did you want, guys? If it's important, I can cover it sometime. Hmm. Oh, it's not important. Or maybe it is. What? Would you please get to the point? <sighs> Look, I got to think about what you said. You know, about having no freedom? Hmm. Yeah? Done. Well, I thought I'd give you a taste of what it's like to be a footloose and fancy free. Really? Not even supposed to do that. We don't have the time for a around the world tour. That was tasty. I see what it is all it'll take. You just tell me when you're ready. Interesting. I think we'll take him up on that down the line. Sounds like a fun date. Next up, we got Robin and Lucina B. All right. <sighs> hey. Lucina? What are you doing out here all alone? No. Not oh, Robin. I'll just think about the future again. My future, I mean. I wonder everyone's managing now. Do they still live or. Um. I can scarce imagine what horrors you experience in such a hard, cruel world. A future that was lost, that we could not save. Tell me, are there others like you there? People who fight against the Risen? Very well. Of course. Remnants of armies from the old dynasty survive here and there. We'll get out in the last safe corner of the land and unite to fight against the tide. But we knew that one day even the final refuge would be overrun. Oh. And the future of Hannah depends on what we do here and now. Yes. Yes, my father is the key. Without him, the future will come to pass. Our struggle there can only propose, postpone the inevitable, not alter it. When I fight for my father, no matter how terrible the foe or how powerful, I know that I have no choice. I simply cannot lose. Yeah. You are burdened by the knowledge you must conquer fate itself. I'm sure it's a terrible weight to bear, but you must remember something. Huh? What's that? All right. You don't have to do it alone. You have friends ready to aid you again against whatever you face. And your father has an entire army ready to fight and die for him. And you also have me, for whatever that might be worth. <sighs> it's worth a great deal, Robin. Yeah. Perhaps I can never truly understand where you come from and the world you live in. But I do know that we can help you. You have my gratitude. Thank you, Robin. Your words give me strength. And that's why I'm a little worried about going to go see Valdar, because uh, things are dire in the future. We're fighting for a good timeline. And I think, let's see, how many we got left? We got Robin and Gregor. We got Cherchi and Long Q. Lucina and Kajel. Tell you what, we'll do Robin and Gregor, and then we'll save the next ones for the next time. After this paralogue, I think. Oi. Hey, Robin, you would drink this, yes? Huh? Um, what is it? Oh, yes. Your special medicine could have got drinks on hard journey. Tastes like bottom of old well, but it's very good for you. Um. I don't need medicine, Gregor. I feel fine. Nonsense. You have no hurting throat? No hacking up of lung? Huh? Well, many mentioned that my throat has been a little sore. <laughs> if that old guy can hear you breathe, it's raspy like dying old donkey. Huh? That's a terrific sense of hearing to notice that over the demo combat. <laughs> Who sells so like drag on health very important? So must be strong, eh? Whoa. I dare say you're right. I don't pay as much attention to my health as I should. What kind of precautions do you take to avoid becoming ill? Hmm. You gotta guess three rules. Gargle, wash hands, and take temperature. Oh. Oh, that sounds easy enough. Any other tricks? Good grieving. You really may have one more thing, but it's very secret. Only men can do. You're a man too, yes? Maybe Greg will share with you. <sighs> this sounds interesting. No, no. You sleep in said man's Gregor, then we share body heat. Huh? I beg your pardon? <laughs> but it becomes very cold at night, yes? This keeps muscles limber. 
Uh, an extra blanket will do just fine, thank you. <laughs> Gregor, you're a married man. I don't know if you should be saying that. <laughs> oh, Gregor never changed. I love you so much. <laughs> Alright, for the time being, though, I think I'll do it for support. We'll take care of our other free next time. And yes, I'm aware, long queue and chair cheer are about to hit the flavored S rank, but uh, for the time being, we'll hold off on that. And now when it comes to what we're going to be doing next for our, you know, our missions to do, we have a few options. We have this one over here, the Matter of the Lost Souls we talked about before. And honestly, at this point in the game, I think we're going to take it on. We have two of them down over here. We have the Von Dragon Grounds. This paralog is going to be accessible to you regardless of if you marry your couples off or whatnot. This one is a completely unique one. It's not a child unit or anything. And this one, the Verdant Forest, I believe is for Frederick and Samia's child, if I'm not mistaken. So, we have options. Let me see. Actually, I, I can check the order. Let's do it in order. Let's see. This is number, I think this is 17, right? 16. Okay, this is 16. And this one, I think, said it was number 9, right? Yeah, nine. In that case, we'll probably do Verdant Forest. Although, I'm not going to lie to you, we're probably going to be super over-leveled for this thing, so... It's probably going to be a bit of a breeze, but I do want to get out of the way. Since, you know... Ooh, hold up, before any of that. Let me shut up real quick. We have some Spirit Dust in store. I want that. Yes, sir. And, uh, I think Kill Alliance. You never know. Kill weapons are always fun to have. And do I have any money to sell? Or anything to sell for money? No, but I do have staff boosters. Okay. Uh... I'll sell one to be sold. Get some money back. Alright, that being said, there's one more thing I want to do before we get going over to the chapter, and that is... I want to get Tharja a new Nosferatu tome, because I'm pretty sure she broke hers last time. No, but she has a ton of stuff to sell. Boom, we're back to being rich again. Magic, isn't it? Speaking of magic, Nosferatu. There you go. Always make sure Nosferatu's got her nice help uh, helping of Nosferatu to go, you know? That all said, I think we're all set to go for now. Let's go into the Burden Forest after a quick audio check. I will be right back. Okay, we're all back and ready to go. Let's get into Burden Forest Paralog 9. Let's do it. Wings of Justice. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not done this paralog in quite some time, so I'm a little curious to see what this is gonna go down. Whoa. Quite the bustling little town. Hmm. The hearts must have come in. I wish there's some good eating to be had. <laughs> Count me, it has been days since I had a proper meal. <gasps> Welcome to the grub shack! You, you're, you're... Hmm? Um... <laughs> terribly sorry, sir, but we're closed. What? That was... Odd. I guess we'll try elsewhere. What? This place looks open, Father. Oh, they have pottage. Uh, <laughs> huh? huh? Please not again. We'll be ruined. This tavern's all we have. Mercy, sirs. Leave us in peace. <sighs> People here don't seem to like us very much. My lord. I don't know if it's the gate on that front, my lord. It seems a band of nasty rogues have been harrying them without pause for some time. I found they are led by a man who masquerades as you. Really? <sighs> this is what this is about. An idea where they are. Ah. It seems they had a north, my lord. <laughs> and so shall we. Alrighty, we're gonna go beat up some imposters. Sound good to me. <laughs> Another fine haul. Long live the great Krom. You look nothing like Krom, buddy. Mission complete. Krom, sir? Here's Knight Sivia. Return for patrol, sir. Whoops. Ah. Uh, right to the face. Uh, sorry for the clumsy this, sir. I promise not to ship again for at least 24 hours. Right. That'd be a new record. Now, the girl, what did you see? Right. This is a of travelers have been making acquires in town, sir. Hmm. Oh? I got really a crawl, sir. I suspect they are imposters posing as you. You must be stopped at once. Uh, right. Posing as me. But, uh, we don't have the men to value these imposters right now. Best of all, I'm trying to exercise the better part of valor for now. Uh, oh. I'll have those ever, sir. I want to draw their attention while you retreat to safety. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. A fine plan. Yep. I won't let you down, sir. Uh, she's dumb as a brick. Still, four marks for enthusiasm. Hmm, I wonder who the character we're going to be talking to is later. Hmm? And you are... Nuh-uh! I will pretend to be Kron's name will answer to me for their deceit. Lay down your arms and surrender, or face judgment at my spear. <sighs> well, she certainly seems eager. What do you think, Robin? She's honestly being deceived. We may be able to show her the truth. 
Just Enough! In the name of my Lord Chrome, cast down your sword or draw it. <laughs> okay, uh... Wings of Justice. We're gonna have to uh, teach uh, this uh, girl... Never mind, the enemies here are actually pretty on par leveled. And there is our girl, Cynthia, over there. Who we definitely need to convince uh, who the real Chrome is. That's it. I thought the Paralog here... I thought these enemies would be on the weaker end because it's Paralog 9. But, uh, no. They most certainly are not. They are definitely capable of fighting us. Good to know. And also, as you already probably took note of, there is a ton of green units on this map. And I don't believe our objective here is to keep them all alive, but they're going to help us with taking on the enemy here. And of course, we have a boss over here, Ruger, or sorry, I say, uh, Chrom, quotation marks, who's honestly pretty scary. 20 magic isn't terrible. 30 speed is blazing fast, as the Assassin's Wallhurt was in the last chapter. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's a route the map enemy, so... A route the map enemy, no, it's a route chapter, so we have to take out all the enemies on the map. And there is a pretty good amount of them. 27 plus 1 if you want to count Cynthia, so 28 in total. So I'm not gonna lie, this chapter will probably be a bit of a slugfest. However, that's the way we like it, baby. Also lots of terrain to take advantage of, since there's a lot of trees and all. And a lot of archers I'm noticing, so uh, we'll have to be a little bit careful about that. That being said, though, as for our actual units for the chapter, uh, there's no church just here, so I think I'm just not gonna bring Gaius. Actually, then again, you give Crumb some good support bonuses. I'll bring you along, why not? And I guess I'll give you a bronze sword, you never know. Who knows, maybe at some point he'll do like one damage or somebody and he'll get some experience, you never know. <laughs> that being said, though, I don't think I have a whole lot of prep work to do since we just took on Wallheart. Like, our team's pretty well fitted since I just did this last time. Looks like it, yep. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty content with everybody's equipment, so honestly, I think I'm just going to get into it, I think. That being said, uh, just to make absolutely sure, I'll do a quick save and make sure my recording's all good, and after that, we'll get right into it, I think. Okay, we are good to go. As I said last time, we basically just got all of our units prepared from taking on Walhart, so I don't think I do any crazy preparation. I think we're pretty much good to go. So that being said, let's get into it, shall we? Hmm, a band of mercenaries looks smiles on me today. A few pretty lights, and I'll have a lot of them fighting for me. Or pre pretty lies, not lights. <laughs> I mean, lights are pretty, you know, there's some pretty lights, but I don't think that's what we're talking about here. And man, it's been a while since we heard this map feed. This is like the early game map feed. It's been a while. Although, I can definitely tell you these enemies are not early game enemies. These things would uh, destroy even Frederick in the early game. And uh, one other thing I should mention, I kind of run this in the between, uh, checking my recording and whatnot. These guys here, they may look like they're friendly for now, however, they are not going to be friendly for very long. Because this guy, as he just mentioned, he's going to lie to them and get them to join his side. So we have to be a little bit careful about taking them on. That being said, in terms of what we're going to be doing for taking on the enemy, now we're going to go together as per usual. I think I'm going to have, I mean, I'm going to have guys in Chrome probably go together. I think, uh, tell you what, I'm going to have Robin and Frederick join together. It's been a while since we've done this pair up, why not? I think I'm gonna have Lucina go with Kajel as per usual. Uh, I'm gonna have you two go together, Guys and Krom. Then I think I'll have... I mean, I'll be real with you with Nasiratu. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna have Long Q and Tharja go together. I don't know if they have an actual support with one another. They, they might have a support. You know, Long Q and his woman problems as we come to know. Kinda curious about that, actually. Then I think I'm gonna have Terchi and Sami go together, I think. And Libra's just back here to heal and support and stay out of harm's way. So in the meanwhile, while that's going on, I'm going to have Robin take to the bushes over here. Quick Arc Thunder. I'm going to have Gregor go over here with Naui. I do want to be a little bit careful with these snipers with our flying units, obviously. And we also have to be a little bit careful over here because this girl, Cynthia, uh, she can put herself in some bad spots if we're not careful how we uh, approach her. So we don't want to be careful about that. I'm going to have Krom go up this way as well. And as for this side over here, I think I'm going to have Kajel and... Actually, I think I'm going to have them come to me, honestly. I think it's probably better, right? Yeah, I'll put Kajel here. I'll have her equip the short spear so she can attack at range. I'll have Tharja go here with Nosferatu. Go. I'll leave her approach a little bit, but not too far in. And then I think I'll have Samia just wait right about here. Probably moving, because why not? And here we go. Help! I'm Krom, rule of your lease. I'm being hunted by brigands. If you help me, I'll see you until you're handsomely rewarded. Yeah, I'm sure Krom would scream help. I, I, this is definitely Krom. I, I totally believe it. Also, how the... Okay. Uh, 
these guys must be very dumb to believe this is actually Krom, because uh, he's literally the current king of the land, kind of, you know. I don't know how anyone's falling for this, but... Man. It's a funny parallel, I'll give it that. And hey, speaking of Krom, a level for Krom, level 13. XP, speed, luck, res. All right, not bad. So ideally, we clear as many enemies as we can out here in the first turn, because we are quite outnumbered. Anything can change. And speaking of lowering the enemy numbers, uh, Aether, Pokemon guys and Javelin. Yeah, guys, support. Now I'm angry. And apparently Krom's now very angry. <laughs> it looked like he stabbed him with the Javelin in the ass. <laughs> I promise I'm very mature, guys. I'm like 22 years old, I promise. None shall harm you. None shall harm you. Take six damage. Frederick, you're a liar. Here's how it's done. That said, uh, tip the scales. Petal Blossoms. Not bad at all, alright. Another one down. Okay, okay. And for, even if I you actually hit me. I was gonna say, oh wow, I got you for anyways, it didn't matter. I was gonna say, you actually managed to hit me with that? That's insane. Right. That's, like 20, that's, that's definitely a let's play or curse moment right there. Hitting me with about 29%, that's crazy. Steel is yours. Also, Robin plus Frederick here is a little bit beefy. Uh, I'm taking no damage from these guys. Not bad at all. I will say, in this chapter, there's a lot of enemies here that don't have magic, so if you have physically taking it, they're gonna have a field day over here. 14, all right, not bad. And thankfully, they're kind of throwing themselves at us and kind of destroying themselves, which is what we want to see right now. More Petal Blossoms! More into the World of Strife! Against the odds! Arc Thunder! He died before he could finish the, the, the uh, iconic quote. I had to cut it short. We're gonna come for Kajel. And I am actually taking a fair bit of damage here, even though I'm super tanky. And, ooh, Kajal Aether, don't get to see this too often. And a crit! <laughs> the face plant. <laughs> I love Kajal. <laughs> Her being armored with Aether is so freaking cool. You're not alone. Oh no, don't hit me! Nasratu! Nasratu! Let's find out here. Do Tharja and Long Q actually have a support? I'm very curious about this. They do. All right, this is kind of cool, actually. I had a feeling, but I, I haven't done it in a while. And there you go. So the enemies here, they may be quite beefy, and they may, you know, be on par with us. However, uh, I don't think they are aware of what they're getting themselves into. We have Paris, and they don't. Big pain. Two Kajel, HP, Strength, Luck. Alright. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure Kajel's out of reach for all the other ones, and Leaper's right behind her, so we can get a quick healing if we need to. There you go. Satisfied. I'm very satisfied. Thank you for asking, Tarja. I think it's another KO. Oh yeah, this guy, this guy's army. He's not gonna survive this Nostratu at all. Although I'm a little worried that Nostratu's about to break. So I don't think we're actually getting to kill this turn, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure Nostrach is about to break, so I don't think we're actually getting to kill here. We do get level 16, though, and almost get a perfect level up. Not bad, Darja. As I can always expect from you. And there is Cynthia, and if you couldn't tell already, uh, we don't want to kill Cynthia. We want to recruit her, so we don't want to go too hard and get, uh, get her killed. So what I'm gonna do here, let me just make sure there's no, uh... Okay, one second. Since we're, in, we're gonna clear out all these enemies here, we can cut this off. Let me just make sure we get the snipers marked so we don't have to worry about them later. There we go. They can get pretty far into the map, so we want to be a little bit careful of our flying units. However, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll use the fan plant. It's like 24 uses. We're still doing pretty fun on this. There's one, and there's two. Good work. And now, I can go over here. We can talk to our friend. I mean, I, I mean, spoilers. Uh, we can talk to this uh, fine lady. Listen, 
Serious fear in a moment, and hear me out. So you've been lied to. Who do you think you are? Spit your tales, Brigand. I'm not to say to someone who would impersonate my mother's dearest friend. What? Your mother. <sighs> you heard me. How dare you proceed to my mother's to be his name? Good. And it all becomes clear. Well, welcome to the past. Huh? What? But how could you know? Hmm. They came all the way from the future? Lucina told me about it. Huh? Lucy's here? Yes. In the flesh. Hmm. Then you're the real crawl. <laughs> Last I checked. <laughs> Smug Crom. I love it. Uh, I'm so sorry. I've always been gullible ever since I was a little girl, but... Hey, this means the other Crom lied! Oh, I'm gonna kill him for this! I'm gonna plant a flying roof right in his stupid liar face! And, uh, welcome to the team. <laughs> this here is Cynthia, if you can tell. Cynthia here is the daughter of Sevilla, and in our case, uh, also the daughter of Frederick. And uh, we'll talk about her in just a second. However, more importantly... <laughs> I gotta chuck a javelin in this guy's face first. Ow. There you go. And with that guy out of the way, he drops his elixir. I'll glad to take a free drink. This here is Cynthia, our brand new character joining us. And as you can see, Cynthia here is a Pegasus Knight. And I will say, having another Pegasus Knight is pretty cool. I haven't had one of these in a while. And, uh, as per usual, uh, we're gonna do a character buy, which you also have done in a while because we haven't recruited a new character in a while. Because most of the characters left in the game to recruit are basically child units, so, uh... Yeah, we haven't done this in a while. That being said, though, this here is Cynthia. Cynthia here comes as a level 10 Pegasus Knight base off her mother's class, obviously being the Pegasus Knight like Samia. And since my Cynthia has the father of Frederick, you're, you, can you can imagine that your Cynthia is going to be having more strength and a little bit more defense than the average, uh, Cynthia here. For example, my Cynthia has the growth rates of 86 HP, 50 strength, 21 magic, 61 skill, 66 speed, 56 luck, 36 defense, and 36 res. All of these are obviously pretty respectable growths, and her base stats are honestly not bad either for, you know, getting her up to the car with the rest of your army. She's gonna be a little bit behind, obviously, like most of the child characters you're gonna be recruiting at this point in the game. But 16 strength, not terrible, not amazing, but it can definitely be worked around. But the main selling point, in my opinion, about what makes her so nice to catch the rest of your team, is that she comes with a very respectable speed set of 26 in my case, which is very, very fast. In fact, for comparison, that is, let's see here. Uh, where's my Krom? Hold up, I, I, I can find Krom. Hold up, I, I want to compare. That's only a few points behind Krom. So, uh, and my Krom is like level 13 as and promoted. So, as you can imagine, Cynthia here is being very, very fast. And being the Pegasus Knight class, obviously she has great mobility. She can move around the map very nicely. And as a pair of units, she gives your allies Good mobility and great speed. So even if you don't want to use her as a frontline fighter, she still can be very handy as a backlining support unit. That being said, though, I'm a big fan of Pegasus Knights, as you guys know. I'm a, I've been using Samia this entire time. I'm a big fan of flying units. So honestly, I've been looking for another unit to put onto the team. I might include Cynthia on the team, unironically. And since she comes to level 10, uh, level 10 as we uh, as I mentioned before, she can also be early promoted as well. So if you want to catch up to the rest of your team faster, you can do that. You'll be missing a little bit of like overall her overall like stat potential. But I think it is, at this point in the game, it's worth early promoting the child units to catch up the rest of your team faster. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll use her. That being said, overall, it's another Pegasus Knight. We've been over to Pegasus Knight before, and she's a pretty solid one. I like her quite a bit. That being said, though, care to buy it out of the way? Let's get back into it. Now, the good news is that a lot of the enemy forces, they kind of ran at us immediately, so uh, we cleared up most of the problem immediately. However, this guy over here is still being recruiting more of the green units onto his side, so... We do need to hurry up over there and go uh, take him on. That being said, though, before we do that, uh, Libra, if you want to go ahead and give a quick healing over here to Kajel. Get her back to fighting fit. My main goal here during this, these paralogs is going to be training our... I wouldn't say weaker units, but our lesser used units to catch up the rest of the team before we get back onto the main story. So, ideally, we get characters like Kajel and obviously now our brand new Cynthia over here up to speed. And honestly, since... You know, it's daughter father bonding time. I think I'm actually gonna put you two together. And this is actually just to make absolutely sure I'm fine. All right. That being said, as you can see now, with Frederick's support, her stats are actually very respectable. Let me see here. Yeah, look at that. She even doubles this guy. Wow. Not bad. That said, I'm not gonna send her in right now. We're gonna wait an extra turn just to lure them in before we do that. And in the meanwhile, we have some problems to care take care of over here. So I think. I'll use a parallel challenge. You never know. We might get a critical hit. Fight with me. Not quite a crit, but still pretty good damage. 
There we go. And actually, looking over here, let me see. Uh, that's a fair bit of damage. Okay, tell you what. I'll actually, I'll, uh. Okay, before we do anything, actually, never. I'll, I'll, I'm fine. I can just do this. I can have Gregor go over here. I can have Gregor chuck the uh, Trodox over here. Take care of this guy. I would have tried to get the kill of Naui, but unfortunately, we're kind of in enemy range up there, so I don't want to, you know, leave Naui exposed. So there we go. Got a second seal for a shovel. Not super useful at this point in the game, but you never know. It's a free item. Can't complain. I think I'm going to have. Man, if only I could get. Actually, oh, I, I, actually, I can get away. I can get away with this. Uh, let me see. 70. Actually, no, I can't. That's not gonna be a quite a kill. Uh. Actually, Lever survives. Although he gets double, that's the problem. Although he can't counterattack, and I think he'll kill them back, right? Let me see. Eleven defense. Uh, yeah, Lever should be fine. Lever should be fine. So tell you what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to. Oh, even better, actually. Hold on, I can transfer over here. So Lever gets a massive speed bonus, so he sh uh, he shouldn't get doubled anymore. And now I can go ahead and take you out with Larja. There we go. Take a bit hit, but it's fine. It's not strong too, after all. Hmm. There we go. Get a little bit of experience for our trouble. And I really wish I could just barely get over there just a little bit closer. But, uh... I'll do this. Help, I'm crying. Oh, he's just gonna keep saying the same thing. <laughs> he just keeps screaming help. It's kind of funny. As you can see, Libra can take the hit fine now. Even dodges too, not bad. And, hey, Libra gets a kill. I'll take it. Not bad. Won't complain about that ever. It's me, Magic Rez. I'll take it. And here comes the stage. Although I think I have a javelin clip. I sure do. All right, we should be fine then. And a dodge, even better. Hey, one damage from God. <laughs> It actually got us the kill. Oh my god, Gaius, you... <laughs> I put him here as kind of a joke, but he actually helped out. That's so funny. I got you. Ow. Alright, uh, if we can get some ethers going on, that'd be kind of cool right now. We should be fine, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, we should be fine with Crawford this turn. Take the chip damage, that's fine. Uh, this is job. Right. Unfortunately, our turner's got a little bit close to breaking now, but uh, it's still doing fine. Up, oh, case in point. <laughs> Spoken to existence. My bad. And you, my friend, are so bold. I have the short act. I don't know what you're thinking this is. Damn, even didn't even get through five damage. I'll take it though. Oh, they're all gonna move it on Gregor. This is actually perfect. This sets us up. Never mind. Uh, I forgot Gregor is a monster and is going to still kill them anyway. I was gonna say, this is perfect. We set up some kill for Cynthia, but uh. That's what happened when Gregor's pissed off. Alright, not bad. Alright. Not gonna lie to you, lots of enemies this turn, but uh, we'll figure it out. We always do, after all. The main thing I'm worried about, though, is how do we get rid of these archers? Because they're gonna be a problem. Alright, here's what we'll do. Uh, we'll start off with uh, Robin here. I'm, I'm gonna take out, this, take out this guy. We'll trust the Leaven Sword. There. Alright, that's one down. We shouldn't be able to do this as long as we pretty much kill the entire army, which I know is asking for a lot, but uh. We've done harder odds. Uh, let me see here. Uh, if I put... There's no, like... Okay, there's nobody else up there. Okay, cool. So in that case, I can have somebody take care of this guy. Get the archer out of the problem. Get out of the way. 
Yes. Murder him while we're at it. Why not? Like six and nine. <laughs> yeah. That was close. Let's okay. care of you and Darja. I'm just gonna put you in the bush here, Nasratu. Uh, our hit rates is not amazing, which is a bit unfortunate. However, if I put Long Q here. Oh, I actually, I really like this War Clerk enemy sprite. You don't get to see the War Clerk as an enemy very often. I like this sprite a lot. She looks great. Wow. This is a cool design. Unfortunately, we're not going to appreciate this very long. That takes care of you. You're no warrior. There we go. Physic for our temple. I'll gladly accept that. And I think I'm going to have Lucina go over here, and I'll have Lucina... Uh... I guess we'll have you never know. I'll be your shield. Usually the good old- Oh, exactly, I was gonna say, usually the good old default Lucina weapon, but with Aether, even better. Big damage. Even a kill, god dang. Whatever it takes. Not bad at all. And now, can I get the kill here with Cynthia? Not quite, okay, unfortunate. However, if I go up here, up in your face, Nos uh, Nosferatu can definitely get the kill here. And I get all my HP back. Nice and easy. There we go, Darja back up the full. Power of the uh, Nosferatu, baby. So that out of the way, I can go over here. Is there any other enemies? Uh, there is the boss over here, let me see. Just to make absolutely sure the boss doesn't come jump scared. I don't know. I think he's just going to keep recruiting the green units, but just in case. I'll go right here to beat him just in case. One. And uh, this is very unnecessary. One, one, one. <laughs> I am Gregor. I have murdered more people. Right, I guess in the meanwhile, since they're off doing that, I don't unfortunately have a ranged weapon. I guess I'll just wait here for the turn. And then you two, I feel like if I go in the bush, I'm probably invincible, but just if he's... Uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. I can get an E for you never know. I'm pretty confident Calm's invincible in the bush here. And he's still screaming for help. All right, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll address you very shortly. Dodge. You're coming for me. All right. A little bit painful, but it's fine. The iconic duel of Carl and Robin got it covered. Okay. So at this point, we've basically taken out most of their forces. It's mostly just getting over here, taking out the boss before he recruits all these guys. So uh, we do, we do kind of want to hurry. That's it. If I can set up a kill here for Cynthia, I would gladly do it. Yeah, look at that. 0% chance to hit. <laughs> yeah. Go. Level 8. HP, speed, luck, defense. I'll take it. And then let's see. Can Cynthia get a kill here? Uh, Very likely, yes. Alright, let's do it. I have your back. Big pain, but it's fine. Leaver's nearby. Wow, we missed. Cynthia, I am so sorry. I guess since we have a second here to talk about it, I should probably talk about Cynthia's skills here, since uh, my Cynthia is obviously the daughter of Frederick and Samia. She has plus two speed, which comes from Samia. She has relief, which will make it so she heals every uh, a little bit of HP if she's, nowhere, uh, if she's not near allies, which is a little bit of a gimmicky skill, but it's kind of fun. Rally movement also from Samia, and most importantly, Luna from Frederick, which will... As we already seen before, add on some extra damage if it procs, which is pretty cool on a Pegasus Knight. That said, uh, unfortunately, since we can't get the kill of that, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have Frederick approach the uh, the enemies here, lure them on over, because I would like him to stop recruiting the green units if he could. That'd be very nice. I'll go over here, do a quick physic heal onto. Oh, heal Cynthia. She's right there. There we go. And honest... Okay, actually, hold on. Is there a way I can give... Uh, let's see. 
Uh, go, Gaius! I believe in you! Yeah, zero damage! <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. I guess I'll get the kill of Robin. Which I hope this works out, because if... I mean, it's gonna work out, obviously. I'm gonna get the kill here, but... If I can get level 15 here, we're about to get access to one of the most broken skills of fire in history. We're so close to it. Tell you what, I'm gonna put Tharja. Actually, no, okay, I can't disturb. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm gonna put Robin with somebody so he gets his uh, bonus experience from his support. I mean, from his skill. And me, I'm gonna crumb run up here, activate Elixir, get fully up, I get the full HP. And I think. Yeah, I have to be able to care about I think he's gonna recruit this Bow Knight next, and this Bow Knight has giant range and is obviously very good against a flying unit like Sabia, so I have to be a little bit careful how I maneuver this. I think I'll just put him right here. And that was correct. Alright. Stop recruiting the enemies. That's only how I'm allowed to do that. Alright, hey, Fake Crumb, how you doing, buddy? Uh, honestly, we go pretty even with him. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is actually kind of scary. Oh, if I go into the bushes... Uh, we should be fine to take him on. So honestly, Fake Crumb, I've had enough of you. Meet the real Crumb. I'm not dying on a back wire like this. I'll take what's handy and then take off. Do we have to? Guess who? There was an attempt. Gaius tried to help, all right? Don't make fun of him. He's trying. There we go. And then, uh, I guess, since we're already here, uh, Gregor, if you want to jump in here, we can potentially kill him. Uh, odds are not in our favor, though. But frankly, I'm willing to take it because I don't want to recruit the rest of the green units. So frankly, I'm willing to do this. And Lever's back there to heal if I need to. Let's do this. Mm. We missed, but never mind. We double missed. All right. All right. And then in the meanwhile, I think I'll go over here with Darja. Actually, uh, okay. Here's the plan. Robin and Darja, I'm going to have you two pair up together. And we're going to start blasting these guys who have... Turn to red units. Let's go. You should have stayed green if you knew what was good for you. It was your last mistake. Do you like darkness? Hmm. There we go. And then in the meanwhile, uh, like I said, I do gotta be a little bit careful of how I move uh, Libra around. Uh. I'm not worried about Gregor. Chrome, you want to get a quick heal? There you go. And the rest of our team, march forth. We will stop this fake Chrome by any means necessary. I'll try to take the lead just because there's no uh, bow user nearby. And then I'm going to have Sabia. Just wait right here. There we go. Here they come. I'm here for you. My Frederick should be fine. <laughs> This is going to add on a lot of extra damage. He's an armor unit. Yeah, 21. Look at that. Go. Oh, wait. You're a magic user, aren't you? Uh, I might have messed up. I might have messed up. He lives. Oh, that was close. Okay, that could have been... Oh, he's running away. Hey! Jerk! Face me! How dare you try to run away? Alms Blade! Get him! I got you. That was dangerously close on the Frederick on Frederick's part there, but uh, it's fine. Hooey! Uh wouldn't have had to live like this if I'd been a prince. I'd feel bad for him, but impersonating the, the actual prince is asking for trouble. I'd say he jumps a large bullion, which I'll gladly take. More war funds for us. And more importantly, uh, Frederick, uh, come back to life, my friend. You kind of took a beating there. Thank you. There you go. Back up to full HP. And in the meanwhile, uh, there's, thankfully, since we got here pretty fast, most of the units are not actually going to turn code on us, so uh, we can just go ahead and take these guys out nice and easy. Best of luck. Go. Uh, 
unfortunately. Maybe Kajal can get this kill. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate, isn't it, huh? Uh, I'll get the. I'll do this shit damage for some experience. Never hurts. I'm right here. Big dodge. Right, and then in the meanwhile, I'm gonna have okay. Actually, I want I want to make sure Robin gets one of these kills because if I do this with Tarja like with me, I am absolutely gonna level up thanks to my skill, where I get bonus experience if I'm paired up with somebody. And by doing this, we are about to get Robin's insane skill. And I've been hyping him for a while now. We get Rally Spectrum. One of the most broken things in Fire Emblem history. Rally Spectrum. This skill is absolutely insane. It gives all your stats plus four to allies in free spaces for one turn. Granted, you have to give up Robin's turn to use it, but this makes your army ridiculously strong, and I cannot wait to show off how crazy this can actually get in, in a little bit. And I actually don't die for this, so this is kind of funny. Uh, let me just see. Uh, before I do this, uh, how does now we do against this guy? Uh, frankly, I can't die for doing this, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. That said, though, if I uh, wanted to, uh, where's Frederick? There you are. Give me, oh, perfect. I had the beast killer. I'll do this. There you go. Kill for Cynthia. Hell yeah. Now show your father what you got. Big chip damage, but it's fine. Ugh. <laughs> and a full level up, I'll take it. Level 11, HP, strength, skill, speed, defense. That's a good first level up. Woohoo, feeling good, I agree. And there you go. If you do this chapter quite fast, you can ignore most of the green units and get through here relatively easily. That said, I definitely uh, miss saw the magic user over there. That could have been bad. Frederick is not amazing against magic. That's the last of them. Ah. We'll explain the truth to those mercenaries when we tend their wounds. Frankly, I'm shocked that the scoundrel had the audacity to impersonate you, my lord. Right. Not the worst of his crimes, I'm sure. Right. It's unacceptable, my lord. I've clearly failed in my duties as a knight. I shall grant some serious portraits to see that comics are distributed to all. Never again shall someone make the mistake of the noble visage of my lord Crom for... Uh, um... Frederick, let's just go. <laughs> hey uh... uh, do you have a moment, Samia? Huh? Oh, hello. You're the girl from before. Um... Hmm. Cynthia. My name is Cynthia. What a darling name. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I always loved it. It was a gift from my mother. From you. What? What? Me? But I... Never seen... Yeah, see... Oh, but you will. Isn't that great? I came from the future, mother. See? I rings that match up and everything. It's because you gave it to me. Or you will, I mean, later. Before I come back here. But after I... <sighs> this is so confusing. Yes. You're... You're my daughter. Yep. I sure am. I miss you so much, mother. Come here. Give me a hug. Whoops! Oh, that one's gonna bruise. All right, don't worry about me, I'm fine. Well, we're definitely related. Hold on, you dropped something. Uh, spearhead? Huh? I'm sorry, I'll take that back. Why are you carrying that around? No. Because it hasn't been made yet. You promised we'd make it together. Huh? I did. Right. But you broke your promise today. The day you never came home. How did you leave me, mother? You were a legend. You were invincible. Oh. Wait, are you saying I died? I'm so sorry, love. I guess I'm not much of a legend after all. No. You are to me. <sighs> I may not be invincible, but at least I was blessed with a wonderful child. How would we decide that sort of half to give the spear? We can come up to the materials in the next town. Uh, Wait, we can? Yes. I made a promise, didn't I? Uh, oh, mother, I love you. I won't lie. I'm having to have Cynthia here. It's been a while coming, but man. What a lovely soul. <laughs> With that being said, our first paralogue of a few upcoming out of the way. A pretty fun one, I won't lie. The, the, the plot of this one is pretty fun. And Cynthia herself is a lovely, a lovely lady. And I'm glad to have her on the team. And I'm definitely going to be taking my time out of the way to train her up to catch her up for the rest of the team. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed as always. And next time on Fire Awakening, more paralogue knocking out. Because once we get back on the main story, uh, we're going to be on the main story for a while. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just best to take care of her now. With that being said... I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.